Happy Australia Day 2019, everybody. Or should I say, Happy Invasion Day? No, I shouldn't, because Modern Day Australia Day has nothing to do with the invasion of Australia. That's a label that has been placed on Australia Day by Indigenous Australians and people sympathetic to their cause, to try to make normal Aussies feel guilty about something that we had absolutely nothing to do with. A quick history lesson first. Back in early 1788, a fleet of 11 British ships under the command of Captain Arthur Phillip arrived in New Holland, modern-day Australia, seeking to establish a penal colony on the east coast of New South Wales. After a few days of deciding on a suitable landing location, on the 25th of January 1788, HMS Supply anchored in Sydney Cove carrying Captain Arthur Phillip, Philip Gidley King, the third governor of New South Wales, some Royal Marines, and about 40 convicts. Early in the morning of the next day, 26th of January 1788, Philip, along with a few dozen Marines, officers and oarsmen, rowed ashore and took possession of the land in the name of King George III. The remainder of the ship's crew and convicts watched from on board HMS Supply. The actual founding of the colony of New South Wales didn't actually occur until the 7th of February 1788, when the formal proclamation of the colony and of Arthur Phillip's governorship were read out. But the 26th of January had no significant or official meaning in the early years of New South Wales. It wasn't until 1808 that some of the colony's immigrants started to recognise the day in order to celebrate their love of the land they lived in with drinking and merriment. It wasn't until 1935 that all states of Australia were celebrating the 26th of January as Australia Day, although it was known as Anniversary Day in New South Wales. It wasn't until 1994 that all states and territories officially began to celebrate Australia Day consistently as a public holiday on that date. So Australia Day, as we know it, is a fairly modern occurrence. So what do typical Aussies do on Australia Day? Well, I usually take my family up to the local park where the council hand out free watermelon, damper, lamingtons and snow cones, and offer a free sausage sizzle for lunch. My kids love it, as do many other kids. Formal events include Australian citizenship ceremonies and Australia Day awards to people who have helped out the community throughout the year. There is certainly no celebration of the invasion of Australia. So should we change the date to suit the minority? Well, first of all, what's in a date? Does the actual date of Australia Day matter? I would say, no, the actual date has no bearing on the celebrations. A date simply represents a number in the Gregorian calendar to indicate the angle of the sun in the sky at a particular time of the year. Indigenous Australians had no knowledge of the Gregorian calendar when the first fleet arrived, so why has the date become so important to them? Is it the actual date that Indigenous Australians loathe, or is it the celebrations themselves? If we did change the date, just say to the 27th of January for argument's sake, would that fix anything? Would that improve all the hardships that Indigenous Australians face on a daily basis? Shorter life expectancy, higher rates of infant mortality, poorer health, lower levels of education and employment, higher rates of incarceration, higher rates of alcohol abuse and domestic violence. No, changing the date of Australia Day would have no bearing on actually helping Indigenous Australians. It's a symbolic gesture at best. People would still be going out to the park to have a barbecue and to eat watermelon. People would still be gobbling down sausages and celebrating the diversity of Australia. Changing the date would do nothing. If it's Australia Day itself that Indigenous Australians don't agree with, then surely they must call for the abolishment of Australia Day. Changing the date doesn't change history. Changing the date doesn't stop people celebrating. But to be fair, modern-day Australians aren't celebrating the dark history of Australia. Modern-day Australians are celebrating modern-day Australia. I don't know anybody who goes around commemorating the raising of the flag at Sydney Cove more than 230 years ago. And if they do, they certainly are the minority. Everyone I know either sits at home enjoying the public holiday, or they go out with their family and eat snow cones and fairy floss. The invasion of Australia does not cross their minds. But that's not to say that I'm against a date change, and I'm certainly not against the plight of Indigenous Australians. Whether or not Australia Day is celebrated on the 26th of January or the 27th does not affect me in any meaningful way. My kids wouldn't care what date it was celebrated on, as long as they could go to the park and eat some damper and some watermelon. The date is unimportant to me, so who am I to dictate which date we should celebrate it on? If it truly means that much to the average Indigenous Australian that we change the date, then I'm happy to change it. I don't think it will achieve anything, 
But if it keeps everyone happy and keeps Australia peaceful, then I'm all for it. But sadly, I don't have the power to change the date of Australia Day, and nor does anybody else. Certainly, we'd have to have some kind of national referendum to officially change the date. Ultimately, it would come down to a public vote. If the majority agree that we should change it, then so be it. But on the other hand, if most Australians disagree with the date change, then Indigenous Australians would have to accept that fact and accept that the 26th of January is an important date to modern day Australians. Personally, I think Indigenous Australians should be focusing their efforts elsewhere. Celebrating Australia Day on the 26th of January does not really hurt anybody. Changing the date will not fix Indigenous disadvantage. Indigenous education and employment is a real issue. Indigenous health and alcohol abuse is a real issue. Surely we should be focusing our efforts on those issues and not wasting our time with trivial pursuits such as the changing of a date. But then who am I? I'm just a guy on YouTube. Whether I agree with the date change or not doesn't change the reality. Today is Australia Day. I will be going to the park with my friends and family and eating watermelon and damper. There will be people there celebrating their newly gained Australian citizenship. There will be people there celebrating the diversity of modern day Australia. The kids will be running around laughing and having fun. The new Australian citizens will be grinning from ear to ear. There's nothing bad about the celebrations being held today. So how about instead of focusing on a dark past, we instead look forward to a bright future where we all look out for one another. Because we're all Australians, Indigenous or otherwise. Enjoy the festivities.